Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 24th, 2022. Well, Friday, we certainly had a nice surge up when we had just maybe an inkling of hope that the Fed may back off a little bit on interest rate increases, creating quite a short squeeze to the upside. But what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can pick up on some information on how to approach the market for today. Well, we had some really good news here on Friday, uh, pushing the markets up. And as you can see in this chart, we're looking pretty good here for an upside potential move. Notice we've broken that downtrend. We've held this support area in here. And on Friday, with that hope, that the FOMC may back off a little bit on interest rate increases. Boy, they really pushed hard to squeeze out some of those short traders in the market. So now we've created this higher low. Got to give this up to the bulls. That's looking pretty good. Now we do want to keep in mind that we still have a lot of issues to work through out there in the market. And this week is going to be an incredible week of tech reports and um, lots of data coming our way such as GDP and and durable goods orders so we'll want to keep an eye on this but as we try to push through some of these resistance levels in the chart you'll want to keep in mind that we could easily and quickly reverse because we still have slowing global economies we still have the risk of recession um, ahead in uh, the next year. Let's take a look at our um, SPY. Now our SPY climbing back, oh, by the way, I should make a quick note of this. Um, pushing up here this morning where we're trying to gap up, that may actually be a gap above the 50 day moving average. So please be careful with this guys, chasing this in the morning, um, we could easily see the pop and drop um, where we pop through that 50 and pull back. And of course we've seen a lot of that recently. Um, here in the market so keep that in mind that's an improvement in our tech uh, techs here um, technical indicators but we'll want to watch that resistance level pretty close let's take a look at our um, spy 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 also moving up now unfortunately nothing here has really changed even with that nice rally that we had on Friday it depends on how you draw that you can see we did try to hold this price support in here and that makes um, us um, have that potential of the higher low but let's keep in mind we really didn't fix any of that resistance that well caused us um, all of this volatility in here before so watch that close this push up this morning could test that resistance in the chart so let's watch carefully for that and our technicals here as you can see we might be trying to push through that 34 EMA but you'll want to keep in mind we still have a long ways to go before we push the SPY back up through that 50 day moving average. So again, watch for that potential of that pop and drop or that whipsaw as we test this significant resistance here in the chart on the SPY. And then if we take a look at our QQQ, well, we're going to have a similar uh, situation here on the QQQ, noticing that we, even with the rally up, um, we didn't really do much here to change anything. We, we may be breaking the resistance here to the upside on the down the downtrend here but notice we've got significant resistance in the chart right here and you know just right there is a massive level of resistance in that QQQ so watch that closely we may have some challenges here on this however this week we do have a little bit of a news on the big tech economic reports um, earnings reports that will be coming out this week and that could certainly change this we do have you know that fingers crossed that little hope of an inverted head and shoulders pattern that could be forming in here maybe those big tech earnings will um, resolve this issue for us in the qqq i don't know that i would bet on that just yet but watch that closely and here in our tech techs um technicals here on um 
uh, QQQ, as you can see, we're pressing up toward that 34 EMA in the chart and our 50 still dropping here. We've got a lot of work here before we really start to improve this chart over uh, that much. And then if we take a look at our Russell, well, IWM also pushed up nicely on Friday, but you can see here again, it really didn't resolve anything. We still have that significant level of price resistance above. We do have this little upside trend if we use that gap down as a little outlier. Um, you know, we can see a little upside trend in there, but we've still got some work here to do before we can get too overly confident that IWM is ready to just rip to the upside. And if you take a look, that downtrend right there, we're just now trying to peek out from underneath that here um, on that uh, price action pop up here this morning. If we take a look at um, our technicals here in the chart, we're testing that 34 EMA, 50 day moving average still coming down. Again, our technicals here, we've got a lot of work to recover. Now, if we take a look at our VIX, it was interesting on Friday that with the um, with the market surging up as much as it did, we didn't really see the VIX soften all of that much. You can see just that little bit of a pullback. But what we can say at this point is we have broken that trend and that resistance in the chart has held. Unfortunately, we still haven't been able to resolve um, very clearly in any way whether we're going to be able to break down through that price support in the chart. We'll want to watch that carefully um, here, but it is nice to see that that VIX is pulling back. Whether it be warranted or not, we'll want to watch that closely and we want to watch that possibility that somewhere in this area we could also bounce back. Um, so watch carefully. And then our T2122. Our T2122 gives us some hope that we still have more upside opportunity and we're pressing for it this morning in the pre-market pump. You know, when I got up this morning at 5 a.m., futures were barely positive. And now as we move toward earning or, or move toward the open, it's what we've been seeing every single day. We press and we press and we press and we push for a big gap up open. And then unfortunately, we don't get much follow through on it. Let's hope today is a little bit different or we could even see a pop and drop on the day because what's going to happen this morning is we're going to gap up it looks like and we'll be gapping up probably right up here into that bearish reversal zone where we've seen before where we just slam up in here and then we turn around and head back. So I would be watching for that potential pop and drop here this morning because right now the Dow futures are suggesting a 225 point gap and that's ahead of some economic data that could certainly move us around. So watch that close. Now remember when we're up in here, we always have to be thinking about the possibility of that pullback. So watch carefully for that. If we take a look at our T2107, whoops, our T2107, as you can see, improved on Friday nicely. We broke higher. We're pressing into some of these downtrends. Let me pull this all the way back. And you can see if we push um, up through here this morning, we might actually break that longer term downtrend. Now, the question is, once we break it, can we hold it as support? That'll be the key element. We'll want to keep in mind we do have significant price resistance in the chart that we still have to get through. But we are seeing that improvement here, 27, 28% of the stocks back above their 200 day moving average. So we're trying to stiffen up here just a little bit and get a few things going with that hope that the Fed may back off. And then our T2108, well, in that one, we also had some nice improvement, almost 40% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. Unfortunately here, we still have that bigger downtrend that we've got to work with. Quite a little bit of price resistance and congestion in this area. But, you know, earnings can change that pretty fast. So watch carefully for that. Um, our T2101, um, I'm not sure that we're getting the best data in here because we, as we rallied up on Friday, we did it on 
we continue to see these low volume days as we try to rally up. Now, one of the things we can maybe hang our hat on is we broke that little upside trend here. We're trying to hold that momentum to the upside. It's certainly been strained. We've been, what I wrote in the blog today is we're just kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. We, we, we get a hint or even a rumor that the Fed may back off a little bit and the market surges up. And then we kind of get reminded of um, slowing worldwide economy and recession and higher rates and inflation and then we go the other direction so we're kind of stuck in this malaise of uncertainty here and you add in some geopolitical things you add in big tech earnings reports this week and we have a recipe for lots of volatility and very very challenging market so be careful and be prepared for lots of wild price action today uh, and this week. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, we do have a few things that um, we're going to have to deal with this week, but starting off the week, we've got a little bit of a lighter day. Fortunately, we, we um, have the PMI number. Now European PMI number came in showing uh, their activity is slowing dramatically and really pointing toward more of a severe recession. Um, however, they're ignoring that and, and they're bullish this morning in, uh, uh, in Europe. So watch that carefully here as that number comes out. Um, could be a market mover. Um, so just watch that carefully. And if we uh, take a look here, we've got Case Schiller coming up here on Tuesday. We've got Consumer Confidence. We're going to have International Trade and Goods, New Home Sales. We know those have been a bit problem at, problematic for us. And then um, Thursday is going to be our big day, I think, with uh, durable goods orders, GDP, and jobless claims. Of course, the PCE number, the personal income and outlays number, that is the Fed's favorite number. Um, that, of course, could be a big day as well. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar is starting to ramp up. As a matter of fact, this week it really ramps up and we start to hit some of those big tech earnings reports that we know can really create a lot of emotion and move the market dramatically. So today, if you take a look at the, want to take a look at all the notables, make sure and click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list of notables. Stocks that I have on the list that Today. Um, AGNC is on that list today. We'll be reporting. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, BOH will be reporting today. We've got CR on that list today. It looks like CR is trying to move up a little bit here this morning. Uh, DFS will be reporting today. Um, PKG, PHC, RRC. SCHN and Zion. So those we've got some regional banks and things like that in there. Some of the some um, um, big reports out there, but nothing that today would be the kind of thing that would really move us. But as we move through the week, we're going to start hitting those big tech earnings reports. And I won't be able to cover all the notables uh, probably from here on out for the rest of earnings. So just make sure you understand how to get back to that morning blog for that full list of notables. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Video. And if you could also do me a favor, if you feel the video was worthy, please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. It's that engagement that makes a difference. And this week I'll be back on task answering all of the, all of the comments. Um, I apologize. Last week my partner was gone. I was covering two trading rooms, so I was pretty busy last week. But I'll be back on that today. So thank you so much to everyone um, who. Um, 
um, continue to uh, post on the channel. I really, really appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, I'd be really, really careful here. Um, in a market like we're going to have this week, we can see lots of things happening. Gap ups, gap downs, big intraday whipsaws, overnight reversals, anything is possible um, this week. So just be really, really careful. Emotions are very high. So expect some really challenging price action to occur in the market. That being said, make sure that you follow your rules and your risk tolerances. Never ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas because it could be a very disappointing week with hops and pops. Let's take a look. Take a look at VALE. Now this is a chart I was watching and you can, um, this little pink line up here is a price alert. And what I'm watching on this chart, notice that we broke this price support and now we're trying to push back up. We're still away from the trend. So what I'm looking for here in this chart is I'm looking for this to just rest a little bit, consolidate back a couple, three days, and then I'm looking for an opportunity into that chart here in uh, VALE. So keep an eye on that. Now, one of the things that's definitely going to affect this is the US dollar strength, UUP. Now, last week on Friday, we saw a little bit of pullback in the US dollar. I'm sorry, that's a two day. We saw a little pullback here in the US dollar. Um, there were some um, operations over in Japan that moved the yen a little bit higher and pushed the Dow down. Unfortunately, that didn't stick. And this morning, the yen is now moving lower. And we have a situation where the dollar, as you can see, is once again strengthening. So we'll have to keep a pretty close eye on that if this pushes on up. Now we've got this little downtrend in here, but unfortunately we're just kind of wedging right in here. And remember a price wedge um, has about a 50% chance of breaking to the top side or breaking to the bottom side. And I just don't know which is going to happen here. Now we also had an operation um, last week on um, the Chinese Yuan and that also didn't stick. Um, it had a temporary effect. So we'll want to keep an eye on this. If um, US dollar continues to strengthen and other currencies weaken, well, um, that could be a problem for the market. Now, if these fall, that's where we're going. If the dollar starts to fall and pull back, that's where we're going to look at stocks like VALE for that upside move. We'll also want to be looking at stocks in that energy sector. Energy, even though we've had lots and lots of strength here in energy, um, even with the strong dollar, if the dollar starts to fall, I would expect energy prices to really surge higher. And I mean really surge higher if the dollar begins to fall. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. We kind of want that dollar to weaken to help out other countries and maybe ease a little bit of trade pressures. But on the other hand, we don't want that dollar to weaken too much or we're probably going to see our gas prices just get really nasty. So take a look at XLE. Now XLE here has a pretty interesting inverted head and shoulders pattern. Big old head on that. And I did the drawings here. If you measure out, there's your neckline of that head and shoulders pattern. This would be an estimate of the upside you know for you measure from the head to the neckline and on up from there how far xle could potentially go and you can see out here if i go to a weekly that would almost make some sense take a look at that high up here on energy now again i think that may require a fall in the us dollar to make that happen but we have seen the actions of opec and um, that may continue to inspire um, that oil um, higher. Now, again, that's going to be a problem when we start moving into our inflation reports because if um, oil and gas and gas prices continue to move up, that's a major component 
of all of those um, um, calculations for inflation. So watch that close. Um, ConocoPhillips is um, one of those charts looking good. Notice it's trying to break out here to new highs and there's quite a few of those stocks looking really good in that sector. The other place you might want to look is take a look at the financials. Now financials have been struggling a lot but as you'll notice here in those financials we're trying to break that downtrend here in the chart. Now if that downtrend were to break and we're able to hold um, in this little area of price support right through here if we can hold above that area then you might want to look for some upside opportunity there's our our trend it's a little steep but a little consolidation back in there and we might see those financials move up and I have to tell you I've never seen a major um, recovery in the market if the financials don't recover. Now there are some challenges here in those financials as well and that is this liquidity crisis that continues to crop up in different places because of our bond um, our bond yields continue to show um, some problems there. Now there may be some treasury operations that could relieve some of that pressure but they're talking maybe May of next year for that kind of operation so keep an eye on that of course the Treasury could always move soon on that operation and that would help out the banks a lot we can see our banks are, are struggling pretty heavily here with the way things are going in the overall market so keep an eye on those other places I think you might want to look is if those dollars start to move you're gonna have to keep an eye on um, some miners you know if you take a look at the miners they had a big pop on Friday when that dollar pulled back watch some of those now keep in mind something like this is still trying to break its downtrend it's got some work to do here but um, watch some of those mining reports um, GDX um, where you've got your um, minor group ETF keep an eye on some of those they pop nice on Friday with um, that dollar falling so you'll want to watch that close um, you might want to be keeping a really close eye on um, some of the big techs. We've got big tech reports to this week that could certainly move us a lot. Keep in mind we've got Microsoft tomorrow. Now Microsoft has got that inverted head and shoulders. Uh, for me, trading into earnings, not something I'm interested in doing but keep an eye on that if we get past this earnings successfully and we actually break these downtrends and we can deal with some of this major resistance in the chart then perhaps we might start getting some good uh, follow through movements in some of these big techs but overall we see a lot of trouble here um, in in these big techs and so you'll be wa wanting to watch for that possibility that they could um, even fail in those earnings reports and push on lower and we know if some of these big tech giants start to report bad bad news if they do then that could be really difficult for the market to move uh, forward so be careful here so with that guys I want to wish you all a fantastic day remember as we ramp up into these really emotional earnings reports anything is possible make sure you're being very very careful about your trading and and not putting too much risk in here because we could see um, some big swings intraday we could certainly see lots of um, overnight reversals that no matter what position you're in could punish you so be very very careful with that everyone have an awesome day and i will see you right back here bright and early tuesday morning i wish you all of the best